Welcome to Story Matrix, another day, another story. Hey everyone. The matrix is growing exponentially, and today, it requires maintenance again. But, do not worry, because your favorite person in the matrix is here. In the previous video, I asked people to guess my name, but sadly, no one was wise enough to crack it. So, before I reveal my name, head over to the other video by clicking the video shown on I on the right. Or check the description down below for the link of the video, and remember, no cheating. Alright, my name is Johnny, and you know it's time for some stomach aching laughs so let's go. Number 10. A man was running for re-election in his town. He wanted to boost his support and secure the office for another term. He was in a bar so he decided to pay for a woman's drink. She thanked him but wondered why a stranger had bought her a beer. I'm running for mayor, he told her, and I want your vote. You got it, she said, grabbing her glass. Anyone's better than the jerk who's in there now. Number 9. Moses was walking down the street when he bumped into George W. Bush. Hello, Bush said. Nice weather we're having, huh? Moses took one look at the president, turned, and ran in the other direction. The next day Moses was walking down the same street and there was Bush. Again he tried to initiate a conversation. Again Moses turned and ran away. Bush was tired of this bizarre treatment, so the next time Moses ran away from him, Bush followed. When he caught up, he asked Moses what was wrong. Moses said, the last time I talked to a bush I spent 40 years in the desert. Number 8. A woman in a hot air balloon is lost, so she shouts to a man below. Excuse me. I promised a friend I would meet him, but I don't know where I am. You're at 31 degrees, 14.57 minutes north latitude, and 100 degrees, 49.09 minutes west longitude, he replies. You must be a Democrat. I am. How did you know? Everything you told me is technically correct, but the information is useless, and I'm still lost. Frankly, you've been no help. You must be a Republican. The man replied. Yes. How did you know? Said the women. You've risen to where you are due to a lot of hot air, you made a promise you couldn't keep, and you expect me to solve your problem. You're in the same position you were in before we met, but somehow, it's my fault. Number 7. Mom. Your great aunt just passed away. Lol. Son. Why is that funny? Mom. It's not funny, David. What do you mean? Son. Mom. Lol means laughing out loud. Mom. I thought it meant lots of love. I have to call everyone back. Daughter. I got an A in chemistry. Mom. WTF. Daughter. Mom. What do you think WTF means? Mom. Well that's fantastic. Mom. What do IDK, Lee and TTYL mean? Son. I don't know, love you, talk to you later. Mom. Okay, I will ask your sister. Number 6. A farmer had a three-legged pig, and his neighbor asked him why the pig had only three legs. Well, I'll tell you, the farmer replied. One day I was plowing my field and the tractor turned over and pinned me underneath. That pig ran for help. He saved my life. Oh, that's how he lost his leg? The neighbor asked. No, said the farmer. One night, my wife and I were sound asleep, and the house caught on fire. That pig woke us up. He saved our lives. So that's how he lost his leg, asked the neighbor. No, that wasn't it, said the farmer. The neighbor got angry and demanded, then how did he lose his leg? The farmer replied, when you have a pig that good, you don't eat him all at once. Number 5. One day three people were stuck on an island with cannibals. The cannibals said, if you do what we say, we won't kill you. So the three people followed the orders the cannibals. So the cannibals said, go into the forest and pick 10 fruits of the first fruit you see. So the first person came back out of the forest with 10 apples. The cannibals said, put the apples up your butt without making a facial expression. The person then made a facial expression after the second apple, so the cannibals killed him. The second person came back out of the forest with 10 cherries. 
The cannibals said, put the cherries up your butt without making a facial expression. The person then started laughing on the tenth cherry, so they killed him. In heaven, the person with apples asked the person with cherries, why did you start laughing? The person replied, I saw the third person come out with pineapples. Number 4. A man walked into the produce section of his local supermarket and asked to buy half a head of lettuce. The boy working in that department told him that they only sold whole heads of lettuce. The man was insistent that the boy ask his manager about the matter. Walking into the back room, the boy said to his manager, some asshole wants to buy a half a head of lettuce. As he finished his sentence, he turned to find the man standing right behind him, so he added. And this gentleman kindly offered to buy the other half. The manager approved the deal and the man went on his way. Later the manager found the boy and said, I was impressed with the way you got yourself out of that situation earlier. We like people who think on their feet here. Where are you from, son? Canada, sir, the boy replied. Well, why did you leave Canada? The manager asked. The boy said, sir, there's nothing but whores and hockey players up there. Really, said the manager. My wife is from Canada. The boy replied, no way? Who did she play for? Number 3. Robert and Peter are sitting at their favorite bar, drinking beer. Robert turns to Peter and says, you know, I'm tired of going through life without an education. Tomorrow I think I'll go the community college and sign up for some classes. Peter agrees that it's a good idea, and the two leave. The next day, Robert goes down to the college and meets the dean of admissions, who signs him up for the four basic classes, math, English, history and logic. Logic? Robert says. What's that? The dean says, I'll show you. Do you own a lawnmower? Yeah. Then logically speaking, because you own a lawnmower, I think you would have a yard. That's true, I do have a yard. I'm not done, the dean says. Because you have a yard, I think logically that you would have a house. Yes, I do have a house. And because you have a house, I think that you might logically have a family. I have a family. I'm not done yet. Because you have a family, then logically you must have a wife. Yes, I do have a wife. And because you have a wife, then logic tells me you must be a heterosexual. I am a heterosexual. That's amazing you were able to find out all of that because I have a lawnmower. Excited to take the class now, Robert shakes the dean's hand and leaves to meet Peter at the bar. He tells Peter about his classes, and how he is signed up for math, English, history and logic. Logic? Peter says, what's that? Robert says, I'll show you. Do you have a lawnmower? No, replies Peter. Then you're gay. Number 2. A police officer sees a man driving around with a pickup truck full of penguins. He pulls the guy over and says, you can't drive around with penguins in this town. Take them to the zoo immediately. The guy says okay, and drives away. The next day, the officer sees the guy still driving around with the truck full of penguins, and they're all wearing sunglasses. He pulls the guy over and demands, I thought I told you to take these penguins to the zoo yesterday? The guy replies, I did. Today I'm taking them to the beach. Everyone's stomach must be hurting now. Before we move on to the final one. A sub to the channel will make Johnny very happy. And please comment down below if you have anything else to make Johnny laugh. Number 1. A teenage daughter brings her new boyfriend home to meet her parents. The parents look at the boy from top to bottom. He has tattoos, piercings all over his body and wearing an ankle bracelet. Later, the girl's mom says, Dear, he doesn't seem to be a very nice boy. The daughter replies, No, mom, he's the nicest boy I've ever met. Did you check out the artwork on his body? The mother says he's not a good boy and the daughter should stay away from him. Oh, please, mom, says the daughter. If he wasn't nice, would he be doing 500 hours of community service? Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more.